All right, hello everyone. I have a fun video for you today that I hope you will enjoy. This week's video is a what I wore in the week type thing. I made one of these a while back and y'all seem to like it, so I'm making another one. Once again, these are in outfits that I've worn sequentially. It's literally just when I either remember to film or have the time to film. I have had sort of this major rush of inspiration recently and I would love to share a little bit about it with you guys so that you have sort of a deeper understanding of what my outfits are sort of based around. When I get excited about something or inspired, it's usually via a book, like some kind of literature, a film, or a runway show. And this week, or this, these collection of weeks, my inspiration is actually from all three of those things. And so I would just love to talk a little bit about what I've just been thinking about. And maybe some of you will find this interesting. If not, you can just skip ahead to the first outfit. I won't be offended. It's all right. The first piece of inspiration is actually this book that I recently bought. It's called Howard Pyle's Book of Pirates. Basically, it's a compilation of stories written by Howard Pyle as well as a lot of his illustrations. I love to read these kinds of books because they sort of have a root in history, but they are mostly fictional. And his illustrations of pirates, I think, are like very beautiful and colorful and just very intriguing. So some of the book pages just have these little illustrations on the bottom. There's another one. And color paintings included like this one. This book is a work of fiction. Traditionally, pirates wore sort of a variety of things, but a lot of his illustrations are interpretations of sort of fictional visions of pirates. And I love thinking about those things, looking into the reality of what pirates and buccaneers at the time would have been wearing, and then what it sort of became in our brains, in films, in literature. As I was reading and as I was discovering more about these people and how they lived, I sort of came across this point about how they dressed and why they made the decisions that they made. This is like pirates in real life, this is not just fictional. There is sort of this duality between certain garments that they wore. And I was thinking about that a lot because half of what they are wearing is like their tattered white cotton shirts and then their breeches and they're sort of like everyday functional or working on a boat kind of attire. And then they would have these gorgeous embroidered vests or coats or things that, you know, just seemed out of place that were flashy and beautiful. There were these laws set in place at the time called sumptuary laws that prohibited anyone from appearing particularly luxurious or wealthy because these laws were put in place and because pirates are just inherently not law-abiding citizens they would sort of make it a point to wear clothes that were luxurious and that were very obviously beautiful because they wanted to directly contradict these laws that were in place. What they would do is they would basically steal a bunch of like the nobleman's clothes and actually start wearing them as their own. The purpose of this was to obviously directly contradict this law, but then also down the line, if they needed more money, if they were in a tight spot, they could actually sell those garments for more money or trade them, exchange them, whatever it may be. But they were also seen as a piece of currency to use at the time. So when I was thinking about my own clothing and what I was wearing, I pictured this world where the things that I already own are those things that they talk about, the sailors or the pirates sort of having as their everyday work wear use. And then the things that I'm collecting are those treasures that belong to someone else that are, you know, fancy and beautiful and sort of like combining my aesthetic from the past and what I really love with like these beautiful new things. So yeah, that's just something I've been thinking about. The film portion 
portion of my inspiration is actually this film from 1980. It's called The Island. It's classified as a horror film, so it might not be for everyone. There are a lot of raggedy British pirates in it and the way that they combine the sort of modern clothing of the time with traditional 18th century clothing was um, very inspirational to me. It was very interesting to see. I actually found out about it because I was reading an article about Vivian Westwood and it listed that film as an inspiration for her first collection in the 80s. Her collection heavily references pirate sort of aesthetics and so I thought I would check it out. And then my final inspiration for today's video is actually the Jean-Paul Gaultier 1994 collection. You all know it, you all love it. It is the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. It is like, I don't know, I think it's his best collection ever if I'm honest, but I think that's just because it appeals to me most. He has done a ton of beautiful work. But yeah, I love the use of heavier materials and lighter silks. Um, the contrast is very interesting and it's something that I've been thinking about when I've been dressing because I normally choose very hard, very sturdy materials. Those are just what is of interest to me. I also work with denim on a daily basis at my job, so I'm used to working with like industrial machines on industrial fabrics. This collection really spoke to me because it has a lot of denim, but the denim is sort of paired with more whimsical pieces. Also, what I love about this collection is that there are historical references, so it kind of ties in everything that I've been thinking about more um, 18th century clothing. There are a lot of like frock coat references, and then there's, you know, a lot of tailoring. There are just so many interesting parts to this collection. And then the models are incredible. Like, I love that Jean-Paul Gaultier pulls not only from sort of a professional model pool, but also from just like humans that are beautiful and interesting in their own ways. Basically, these three things are what I have been compiling in my head as I have been thinking about clothing and thinking about how I want to be dressing. I'm going to jump into my outfits of the week. Hopefully all of that information was interesting. The first outfit I'm going to talk about is actually primarily inspired by the Jean-Paul Gaultier collection from 94. Basically, I chose all white this day. I combined this suit that I have worn a ton. You've seen um, before, you'll see it again. It's this like white pinstripe suit with these brown pinstripes. I wanted to keep it sort of a mostly white look with like a touch of color. So I wore this long white night shirt underneath this pink silk button up shirt. And then I closed the blazer so you actually can't see the pink shirt at all in the bottom half of my outfit. You'll just see like the white layer coming down over my trousers. I really like this layering look and it reminds me a lot of tough material, harder material versus softer material and what that looks like together. In this look, I also put on some really fun jewelry. I rediscovered these earrings recently in storage and I brought them back out and I think they're just like really fun. My hair is exactly how I have it today. It's just two buns and two braids with sort of like hair out at the front. This one has been a go-to style for me recently. My haircut allows me to have really long layers and then really short layers. So I like to play around with it that way. And then the most exciting part about this outfit is this bag. It's this gorgeous sort of tapestry bag that has these like velvety stripes on the sides and then this uh, sort of like tapestry piece on the front center and the back center. The best part is it has this huge button on the front with this lap closure. It's just really cool and I love that the color scheme of it. It happened to go really well with this outfit. 
So it just seemed like the perfect decision. And then on the bottom of this look, I have these brown loafers, which you've seen. It's quite sad because both tassels actually fell off of one of the shoes, which is like fine, but now one of them is bare and then the other one still has both tassels. So it's kind of funny that they just don't match anymore. And then it was actually particularly cold this day. So I had a pair of tights on under these pants. These tights were sort of like orange with black spots and color wise they went with the rest of the outfit so it made sense to throw them on i got a lot of compliments this day um i actually just went to work in this believe it or not yeah on to the next one so this next outfit was actually a day that i went thrifting this one i'm sure you can tell is heavily inspired by both the jean paul gaultier collection and the sort of research that i've been doing about pirate this one is a good example of like old and new and historical and modern and all of these things sort of pushing themselves together and materializing into one creature i'll start with the shoes i guess these are new into my life um i found them at savers they are these gorgeous knee-high boots they have like a slight heel and they're very comfortable i just love them they go with a lot of things and i didn't have any brown boots before this moment so I'm excited to have them in my life but something very interesting about them is that they have this sort of extended piece at the front with this buckle in the back it just gives them a different silhouette and then the sort of modern element of this is this pair of patchwork shorts that I have which I've had for years. I wear them a lot in the summer. They are by South Pole. I love the way that these pair together and then moving up sticking with the denim theme I actually put on this vest that I repurposed out of a dress. This I made based on 18th century men's vests. I became obsessed with the fact that the vests are shorter in the back and longer in the front. When I was making this, I actually filmed a little bit so I could show you my process which maybe you want to see, maybe you don't care about seeing, but I'll just run through it quickly with you. So this is how it started. This is what the dress looked like. And then basically what I did is I seam ripped the side panels and then cut across the back of the vest. And then I used the fabric from the butt of the dress to cut out pockets basically for the pockets i just sort of like free handed them cut them out of paper and then place them on my body to see if they were the right size if they were a good proportion for my size and they were so i cut them out of denim i sewed pocket pieces right side together and then flipped them inside out ironed them and then top stitched along the outside of the pocket flap these pockets are not functional i didn't have enough material to go you know that far but it still gives the 18th century men's waistcoat vest look i also altered the collar to be a different shape and size and i shortened the bottom of the front of the vests quite significantly just to make it less of a oh i just made a dress into a vest type thing and more intentionally a vest you know what i mean and yeah i'm really excited about this i think it's really fun to wear with more denim and i can't wait to keep styling it in the future over all of that i threw on this denim long coat that I have. It's sort of a navy blue, almost black denim. And I love the way that this coat looks because it does have historical qualities to it. And I also just love the way it moves. You'll see in these clips that it sort of swings around in the wind. And I quite like that. And it's like a perfect spring weight. So I've been wearing that a lot. You'll see it in a few more outfits in this video. But yeah, and then the fun surprise part of this outfit is actually the belt that I tied around my waist that you can only see from the back of the look. It's this gorgeous leather belt that has these silver like coins. I say that in air quotes because they're not actually coins, but they have these coins in the middle of these flowers 
and then they have jump rings in between the flowers and it's a mixture of industrial and natural it sort of ties at the front with leather cordage i thought it might be fun to have a surprise element and a point of like interest in the back of the outfit i also quite like the way that the leather straps fall down in the front they sort of come out of the bottom of the vest and then on top of that i threw on this denim shoulder bag that i have this was just practical but it also ended up working with like the color scheme and the fabric scheme of things also the brown of the belt really ties in the brown of the shoes and sort of gives it more purpose in the outfit continuing with the brown i just threw this ribbon in my hair just just for fun i don't know why i did it but just for fun so my third outfit for this video is actually an all brown look i wore the same boots as the previous outfit and then i paired it with this brown suit that i have which you have also seen before a very comfortable easy to wear suit i'm also wearing this incredible blue shirt that i'm actually wearing to film this talking portion right now i think this tone of blue looks really good with brown and so that's why i made that decision um i also put this string of pearls around my neck that i recently bought as well as this crossbody tan leather bag. This idea of sort of mixing modern tailored menswear and sort of trying to make it look historical by tucking it into boots and adding older jewelry. This one is cool. I think I like how it turned out, but I think I would do something different next time. So for this next outfit, I actually bought this skirt the day that I wore the all denim look. So I wanted to style it up. It's this larger pearlescent white kind of puffy skirt. It's mostly just structured and it has this huge waistband so it's kind of more drop waist. So to accessorize this skirt, I basically tied this scarf, this silk scarf around my waist and then I layered up two silver belts. I've been really into the sort of look of sashes and layered belts, obviously through Howard Pyle's depictions of pirates. And I thought that it would be fun to work with something like a puffy skirt instead of breeches, the sort of reinterpreting his interpretation of pirates and then i just paired it with this black suede vest and this cropped black jacket that has these sort of like military detailing on the front and then a buckle and sort of an open back on the back i also carried this little sack bag this off-white sack bag with me this day i was working and at this job i am walking and running and standing a lot so put on these very practical uh mary jane shoes with some black stockings but i think this look would actually be really good with some black boots this next outfit is an outfit that i wore out dancing i wanted to wear this corset um, I bought this for a photo shoot a while ago. This corset just speaks volumes for itself. It's a beautiful green shiny material and it has these gold ribbons that tie in the back. So to match that gold, I wore sort of gold brass accessories, this really beautiful flower looking strapped pendant and also just threw on these little tiny gold earrings put my hair up into buns but left the rest of it sort of long and curly and then with it i wore this long denim skirt and then the brown boots that i talked about in a couple previous outfits these are just like gently heeled so they're the right length for the skirt and they're easy and fun to dance in so i like this outfit because it's sort of a mixture of historical and what i'm interested in right now but it's still appropriate for wearing at night kind of thing also i filmed this during golden hour so I look, I look pretty golden, don't I? Come on now. So my final look today is also another something that I wore to work. I didn't get a lot of footage of this one because I was actually on my way to work and I was running a little bit behind parts of the outfit that I didn't really depict so clearly. So actually this whole look was based around these jeans that I recently got. I'm just going to show them to you here right now because I have them and I didn't show them in the video. So 
They're by 212 NYC. They look like this in the front and then actually the back is my favorite part. They sort of have these scooping pockets that sort of come down on the side and then they have the little pockets actually sewn in there as well but i just really like the wash that is on here the sort of lighter wash and then darker wash and then lighter wash again and the most special part of these pants is that they are actually capris so you can actually like cinch them up make them different sort of like shape make them more balloony more dare i say breech breeches e <laughs> what doesn't make sense Basically, I, I got these because I could kind of see them being denim breeches. Am I a monster for that? Anyway, but yeah, you'll see in the clip, I didn't show them well, so I wanted to show them here. But basically, I just paired it with the same suede button-up vest, and I actually put the scarf under the vest and sort of draped it around my neck and then buttoned the vest over the top of it to sort of add more intrigue and pattern and texture to the look. And then with this look, I just paired these black leather boots that I have that I wear all the time. And then the same sort of long denim flowy coat that I talked about in a previous look. And then a shoulder bag because I was carrying my lunch for the day and all my usual stuff to do this job. So the bag wasn't the most intentional decision here, but um, it's in the video, so I have to talk about it. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, man, that's my freaking video. Again, these are things that I am actually wearing um, out and about and to work, so they could probably be pushed a little bit farther, but you know, half the time I have to be wearing practical shoes and things that don't impair my range of movement in any way. I hope you get something out of these, perhaps a little inspiration. I also hope you liked my little beginning intro explanation of what I've been thinking about and why I've been thinking about it because that's sort of how I function. I go through these phases and pick up elements of a new aesthetic and then apply it to my life. So I am just happy to share with you what I've been thinking about. I hope I explained it well. Please let me know what your favorite outfit was or what your favorite item of clothing was. But yeah, these are just a couple outfits that I've been wearing this spring so far. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos. They're sort of more cumulative than anything else. So if that is of interest and you think I should keep doing that, let me know. But yeah, Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Yeah, man. Okay, bye. Pew, pew, pew.